I was just totally shocked to hear the words congenital heart defect and my unborn child. Um, I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know they could do heart surgery on a baby. The 20 week ultrasound was really um, a shock. They started talking about surgeries and honestly, I didn't even know or think you could do uh, open heart surgery on a little baby. I just didn't think that was possible. Really right away after that appointment, Darren said that we should go to the University of Iowa. We have family close by here, and he knew it was a great hospital, so he wanted us to definitely look into it. After we came over here and talked with the surgeon, the cardiologist, we just felt a sense of comfort about being at this hospital, and there was really no doubt that this was the right place for us to have, have our son. Gabe's congenital heart defect is called double inlet left ventricle, um, which means that his right ventricle never fully developed and that his left ventricle is responsible for handling the whole function of his heart. They do a series of surgeries to correct that. When he was born on January 1st, 2005, we were anticipating a surgery within a week. Thankfully, his heart had overcompensated in some areas and he didn't need to have that first surgery and so we were able to take him home eight days later. So his first surgery was actually um, when he was six months old in July of 2005. He went in for a surgery called the Glen and he was only in the hospital for five days and did really well. The hardest thing a parent can do is hand your child over for surgery um, when you don't know if you're gonna see him again. Um, so the fact that we um, were with a team of individuals that we felt like felt super comfortable with meant everything to us. After Gabe had that first surgery, uh, we waited a couple of years for him to grow. So we went in in May of 2007 um, for his second open heart surgery. About a week later, we uh, got to come home. His heart was looking good. Um, everything we thought was fine. We let him walk around a little bit and he couldn't really put his left foot down at all. It was kind of limp and um, knew right then that there was something not right about this because his right leg was fine and brought him back to the house and called a family member who's a nurse here. She said, I think he had a stroke. Literally, we turned around and drove back to the hospital. We were in the hospital another three weeks recovering from the stroke and from the surgery. And when we left the hospital, Gabe wasn't able to walk. He was totally paralyzed on his left side. Within two months of the stroke, he was walking again. In 2015, um, he was just finishing up fourth grade and he had his first visible seizure. We had called the ambulance and they took us into the hospital and we figured out that he was having seizures. After that, he went on medication and it was really able to control it. It just got to the point where we couldn't continue just to control this with medication anymore and we had to pursue um, surgical options. After that surgery or since, he's been like a changed person. He has a lot more confidence. He's a lot more engaging with people. Gabe has taught me the definition of resilience. He continues to fight no matter what obstacles he's faced. Dr. Law and all of the cardiology staff that have worked with Gabe and cared for Gabe, we just can't say thank you enough. The gift that you've given us of our son is something that we could never pay you back for. We prayed for a miracle for our son and that miracle was coming to this hospital.